Let me bring in the great man, Paul Murray, in early for his 9 o'clock show. Good to see you, mate. Big fella. First up, uh, the Governor-General, $700,000 in the middle of a cost of living crisis. And she's the social justice campaigner. Look, they're doing everything they can, Chris. <laughs> okay. I mean, they are doing everything they can. Every decision goes through the prism of cost of living. <laughs> oh, God. What is the addiction also with the Prime Minister and his ministers making decisions that the public servants above them and around them earn more than they do. <laughs> the idea that the vice-regal role needs to earn yeah. even more than the Prime Minister, despite the fact that she's got uh, under this... She'll have two mansions, one uh, <laughs> next door to the oh, PM yeah. in Sydney, one, of course, in Canberra, let alone the travel perks. Yeah. And this is a person who will go back to a business career. Yeah. This is a person who will come oh, back... Oh, she'll as, trade off it beautifully. Correct. Yeah. It, it's Look, it, it is... It's unbelievable. Well, it's, it, to some degrees, it links in with what you were just talking about, right, which is this basic sense of frustration that I believe a lot of people feel, which is just... The machine just rolls over the top of them. Oh, absolutely! Right? It's, yeah. comp it's, it's it's endlessly contradictory. It's frustratingly contradictory. Um, it's unnecessary in its reminder about how we're doing it because we can. Yeah, and the Canberra Press Gallery, most of them, not our good people. No, are in on the same plan. I showed earlier one of the journos there saying, "Oh, you know." Average people don't understand how this is helping them. What? Yeah. Our power bills are going up and this is good for us. Yeah, but this is like, you know, you know, very closely, for some reason, the Australian media is obsessed with trying to echo what's happening in particularly American politics, right? So at the moment, the, 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 the run there is to say, well, the people just don't understand how good they've got it when it comes to the economy. <laughs> so they're just practising yeah. that and putting it through when it comes to, to this issue. But, look, Tanya Plibersek, who... Look, every time I've met her, is an incredibly decent and nice person. But sometimes she runs these lines that just get, make my head explode. Yesterday, she's out and about saying, oh, the Dutton proposal's $500 billion worth of uh, uh, this, that and the other, um, uh, and, and that's money that could go to hospitals. Well, according to CSIRO, all of this stuff, all of the renewable stuff, is $500 billion. Yeah. Yeah. So the same argument works against their policy that they're trying yeah. to push in the other direction. And, again, it's just that sense of frustration. And, and, again, completely missing from the detail is when Dutton came out and announced this, it's not nukes only. No. Renewables yeah. are part of it. What's well, built will not be pulled down. No, exactly. Um, there, there unfortunately, be... in some cases. Correct. But, of course... Gas will be added to it. There'll be gas, there'll be renewables, there'll be nuclear, and you've got to work out exactly what sort of a mix or roughly how much of a mix it'll be. While we're on that, Matt Keane, please. your favourite. Please. The, does anyone believe that he announced his resignation last Tuesday and they found a job for him to announce yeah. on the Monday? Now, the Australian newspaper has done some very clever reporting on all of this as well, but technically he's still an MP. He is. In New South Wales. Still drawing a salary. Correct. Is this an inducement to leave office? Well, we'll have to see. I mean, I like, like it's such a big accusation to make, but common sense is clear here that he said in his statement, I just double-checked it before we came on here, that he was going to work in the energy sector, in the energy yeah, industry, yeah. right? We all assume that to be yeah. the, the money-making side of things where Turnbull and Cannon Brooks and all of those people are. Well, then... If he left because of this job, well, then he was enticed out of being an MP. Yeah, yeah. I want to know... Well, and we're not alleging anything, but, but the, the reason this is important for anybody who's not onto if this... If it was the oil is, industry, is what it's, would anyone else say? Yeah, well, it's, and it's against the law. Correct. ICAC has uh, found against, way back against... Uh, against uh, Terry uh, Metherall. Terry Metherall, who was uh, Premier yeah. Griner at the time, because it's supposedly induced out of a job. The questions are pretty simple, which is... How long was the post open for? Was it publicly advertised? Yep. Had other people applied? How did this bloke end up becoming uh, the top of the tree? When was the job offered to him? All of those questions for question time this week, and at the end of it, send it off to the National uh, Integrity and Corruption. I've got a feeling you'll have a bit more on that at 9 o'clock tonight, mate. My oath. <laughs> you, You've beauty. got that feeling I've been reading all day, haven't you? <laughs>